Hey everybody, this is Joel Meek with Meek Insurance Group, and I wanted to come to you just to quickly cover a specific topic that has come up a lot during hurricane season, and that question is, what is flooding? Uh, it's a good question. It's a complicated question, actually, uh, so I'm not going to try to give the legal definition because that is generally very many pages of legalese in documents and exclusions for home and explanations in flood policies. Uh, but I would like to cover just very quickly uh, what water damage is in general and then what flooding is, um, the excluded part of a property policy. So water is generally covering things that happen uh, that originate within the house. Maybe it's broken pipes, maybe it's an appliance that failed, like a dishwasher or something like that. Maybe it's overflowing sinks and tubs, maybe it's a leak from the roof or the AC that backs up. Uh, that's generally what's going to fall into water coverage that is part of a normal home insurance policy. We'll get into the exclusions and things there, but that's generally what's considered water, not flooding. Flooding is generally, and again, this is a very, very dumbed down generic uh, explanation, but flooding is generally considered when natural water, so something that comes from outside rather than pipes, but when natural water begins to rise and make its way into your house at ground level or via a tidal surge. So that's generally what flooding is, which is uh, primarily excluded from a standard uh, property insurance policy. And you would definitely want to either add a separate flood policy, or if you have an option, you can sometimes endorse that onto a home policy. And I'm speaking to Florida specifically. Uh, some companies allow it, some don't, and that's when you definitely would want a set standalone flood policy. Uh, some people may ask themselves, why would I even consider flood? I'm not in a flood zone. Uh, not to get into an argument, but uh, if you're in Florida specifically, you are in a flood zone. Uh, it may not be the highest risk, but you are at risk, and so I would not overlook the risk that you do carry. And uh, if you think, well, I'm, you know, if, if it gets to me, it's going to be so so much damage. In reality, a lot of the flooding occurs outside of the high-risk flood zones. I think uh, last I saw 25% of the uh, flooding occurs outside of those zones. So please don't overlook it. Uh, just one to three inches of water in the house equates to about $15 to $25 per square foot on that floor. So again, it adds up very, very quickly. So as long as you're comfortable taking that risk yourself, then you know, go ahead and pass on uh, flood insurance if you can. But uh, for me, I know it's just easier to know that I have that in place so that if it happens, then I don't have to come up with the 25, 35, 50,000, whatever the amount uh, that is, uh, because the flood insurance will do so. So again, there's several ways to do it. Just don't overlook it and uh, definitely don't want to assume that uh, water and flood are the same because they are definitely not. And flooding insurance is generally an exclusion, so understanding that is really, really important. So if you have questions, ask your agent or certainly give us a call. We always love helping people. Again, my name is Joel Meek with Meek Insurance Group.